Well, we are looking forward to that because with October <laughs> just around the corner, the weather will be cooling off. Amber's talking about that lower humidity coming this weekend, so spending time outdoors will be more pleasant. Dr. Holly McKenna with Dara Wellness joins us now to detail the health benefits of the great outdoors. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Well, it sounds like it's good for you to be outside. I think anybody uh, who's kind of stepped into that fresh sunshine with the cool, crisp fall air can just imagine. Oh, it's so but good it, to be outside, it's yes. legitimately good for your brain health. It really is. You know, just 20 minutes outside is going to lower what we call cortisol, that stress hormone. And so that's going to lower blood pressure, um, your heart rate, help things like diabetes in the long run. So being outside um, is great for your health. It also, there's a thing called brain-derived neurotropic factor, BDNF. Is, what is, is that? I know, right? <laughs> it Basically, I kind of picture it as uh, your brain swimming in this fabulous uh, substance that helps your brain make things like serotonin, dopamine, all the neurotransmitters that help improve mood, improve concentration, decrease anxiety, help you with sleep. Those are all things that And getting outside is going to help outside. Yes. improve all those things. Yes. I mean... I, I love being outside. I can believe it, you yes. know, especially when the weather gets better. I really love to be outside. Um, can being outside help us focus, help us think more clearly? You know, it's really interesting. They've done studies, and in children specifically, uh, they think of attention deficit as actually being a nature deficit. So, and you see this with kids all the time. Like, my, I have a son in second grade, and his teacher actually jokes if it's raining outside, it's like mayhem in the classroom. Oh, I'm sure. Because the kids don't get that outdoors time. But there's actually studies that show that there is an inverse relationship to time outside and behavioral and emotional disruption and issues for kids. And so really, when we're talking about kids having difficulty with focus, they need more time outside, not less. And we see that with folks with dementia, with traumatic brain injury, having that time in the garden actually helps with focus and helps with um, building more connections in the brain. So these are all good things and good reasons to be outside. That makes so much sense. You know, our family went through a, a series of back to school illnesses and it felt like we were cooped up for the whole yes. month of August. Yes. And I remember my husband looking at me and saying, we just need to get them outside. We just need to get outside, go for a walk, and I think we'll all feel better, and we did. No, it's it really true. It's true. Like, I've seen it in real time. I mean, as moms, I think we've all probably noticed this. I've seen my son be all antsy, like, oh, there's bugs, there's all these things, and then within, like, 10, 20 minutes, he's, like, riding on his dad's shoulders and pointing out all the things, just going in whatever kind of local forest, and that's, you know, they call it forest bathing. It's that time that you spend in trees. It can be the urban forest, you know, it can be here in New Orleans, even just walking in your neighborhood if you have trees around and allowing yourself to just notice what's happening around you, noticing the breeze in the trees, the birds, the wildlife, and that in itself will help improve mood and improve concentration. So just hanging out with the trees is really great for your health. And we have so many great places to do that. You know, a lot of people travel to go hiking and things like that. Yeah. But I mean, we've got City Park, we've got Audubon Park, we've got uh, the, the wildlife refuges. Um, we've got so many places that you yes. can just get out in nature, but even taking a walk around your city neighborhood 100%. is gonna do you some good. I say that to my patients all the time. Listen, just start with going outside in the morning for 20 minutes. If you can get outside, it's called circadian light between when the sunrise and noon, that actually helps reset your circadian rhythm so then you sleep better at night, oh. right? And then if you do things like moving, whether it be walking or some lovely Tai Chi or breathing movements, that adds a whole nother element to improving your brain health. So, you know, start with just sitting outside having your coffee and then add these other elements and with time you're going to notice an improvement i promise and you're going to crave being outside more dr holly mckenna thank you so much absolutely I really my pleasure